Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero Season 2 Part 2 Episode number 10. Alright, the previous episode we had uh, like Subaru go and talk to Beatrice. Unfortunately his negotiation skill is a little bit poor even though he had the best of interest in Beatrice uh, of Beatrice in mind. He like Beatrice kind of jumped into conclusions and threw him out that and also um uh, like garfield and elsa are fighting and um frederica and may they're having a fight as well um subaru with rem and otto running away currently and um like we saw also saw like emilia's portion what she is going through what uh like her like future uh, not, not future her present uh what the trial that it uh, showed us and she like successfully was able to clear it and in the end we see emilia going to the third trial and the final trial and uh like it's been said that like you have to uh, what did it said like an like a disaster like you have to like it or something prevent it or something like they said something like that like oh a disaster that the future will have like you know uh, the future will bring like uh, like she's probably going to see like visions of that or something let's just like you know see this episode and like we'll probably get to know what it's actually about so yeah without further ado let's get started with v0 season 2 part 2 episode number 10 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go wow elsa is as excited as ever oh what damn he gouges eye her eye out Oh, her eyes is okay. <laughs> he just poked it. <laughs> Heal instantly, meaning I can fight forever. <laughs> but she is a type of a you know, character who <laughs> won't give up. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, he has faith. <laughs> okay, yeah, like we saw this coming, but still, like Super has his own ways, you know. <laughs> Okay, who can help them, them in this problematic situation? Only Beatrice is there, so... You're correct, Otto? Wow. Uh... Unparalleled not... Oh. But you're, you're going to do some kind of... <laughs> what? Listen. Oh, what's he doing? He's baiting it and... Oh, is he going to use fire? Like... Like, big... Like, animals are afraid of fire, so... We can see some candles here. Or maybe not. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going to explode that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Particle explosion or whatever they call it. I'm not sure what that is. But it actually does not happen like this. Yeah. Like, I think. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, that will work. Yeah, just burn him. 
like the thing that Subaru do that works, but I think it needs something else also. Some other kind of condition. Okay, wow. Pocha. <laughs> oh damn. And that's a roasted ma beast. I hope so. Oh great, you burned the whole <laughs> Yeah, now what? God damn, you know? The burn the whole <laughs> Ross was Ross was gonna go bankrupt this way. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What about Petra? Yeah, Beatrice is still here. Mm, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Subaru has run, like, earned the right to joke about death, you know? Like, <laughs> he is the only one. Face the disaster that is yet to come. Okay. Um,. What is this place? What? Oh, wait. Is this a ma match? Who the? Who's? What? All of the... Cool. Wait, that's uh, I can only that's Anastasia's voice, wasn't it? This is Fed's voice. Oh, everyone's voice, like not only. Ram. Where should we see? Definitely. Whoa. Oh, hello. <laughs> the tea party. Did Echidona call her? Like, Echidona did not like Emilia as far as we know. Or did someone else call her? Cookies are here. Yeah. Um, this is Minerva. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Like, was that a trial? Like, oh, those were battle wounds. Yeah, different branches. Yeah, possible one. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's possible. That's just a possibility. I'm sure like if you done cherry picked the bad futures, you know, and showed that to Emilia just to mess with her. <laughs> hmm. Mother? Oh. Well, it's kind of you know, understandable because Minerva and all of them were all witches before, so. <laughs> what? Why is she? Why is she crying? Did she know Fortuna? Yeah, this is Minerva. What? Wait, what's happening? Is she somehow related to Fortuna or something? Okay. <laughs> Let's have a tea party. Okay, like something must like do they have some kind of connection? Minerva, Amelia, and Fortuna, or something? Oh, what is this place? Whoa, what the? Oh, Ekiduna! Oh, this is a body! Oh, okay, okay! Uh, uh, it is Ekiduna, isn't it? Wait, isn't this Ekiduna? Why did Emilia say that who is this? She knows Ekiduna. Oh, the spell... Uh, okay, so she broke the spell. I'm guessing the sanctuary's barrier will be 
you know like destroyed now but will what will happen to echidona like Okay, well, what? Wait, what happened? Okay, okay. And you might be underestimating him, you know. Ha! <laughs> uh, rock piggy. Hmm. Okay, there. <laughs> oh great the rock piggy or whatever yeah that's not a piggy that's a hippo Oh, great. Wow. Reinforcements. <laughs> what an amazing... Oh, me! Oh. Okay. Um Oh, come on, Frederica, yeah. Okay, wow. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Okay, that was good. Oh, my, her. her. Damn. Uh oh 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 whoa oh, 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 oh. that's one way to finish the enemy Oh yeah she heals yeah we forgot Okay, what, how do you defeat a person like this? Like, what the hell? You have to seal her or something. Hmm. Can you give us some handicap or something? <laughs> Wait, she's a vampire? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's... Let's take one.
Hát mi bár? She doesn't care. Oh boy. So that's from that's where she gets the her fascination with guts. Oh my god. Wow, okay, that is something. <laughs> yeah, that that's what she likes. Oh boy, wow. Oh damn. Whoa, this is something. God damn, wow, wow, okay. Oh! Oh. Oh. Okay, she took her away. Oh! Ah! Whoa! Damn! It's not healing? Or what? Oh! Whoa! What? Love me down to my blood and guts. Oh boy. Okay, now this. Hmm. Yeah, her wish to bring Roswell out of this, you know, insanity. <sighs> Doctoring the contract between. Yeah. Last key to the unlocking my dearest wish. Unlike you, I'm not merely testing. Oh boy, pocket spaced. 
what happened before your contract oh yeah yeah that uh, what was the name hector Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like like let Puck handle him. I wanted to Yeah, like this guy's so fixated with his her his past. Yeah, like he was so... Uh... Good job. Fuck is transformed. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, okay, see, so he did not. Uh, he just got bigger. Okay. That also works. Ah, Pack's fine, I'm I'm sure. Okay. Wait, what happened? Does there's an illusion or something? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, the book, yes, the gospel. Burn it off, throw it into the fire. Throw it into the fire. The thing that's constricting Roosevelt for so many years. Yes. 
burn of the past. Oh, come on. That's how you end this. Now I have to wait for another week for the... Oh, great. I'm just waiting if there's something else, you know, after the end credits. Something, a little bit of hint, what happened after that. Song is amazing. Come on, show us something, something, just something. Just don't end it like that, like. Okay, something, please. A little bit. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> all right. First of all, that was amazing. Yeah, that 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 was really something. And like not just one, but two things we show like saw. Like two amazing things happened this episode. And the way they did this was so good, you know, like the way they executed it was so amazing and like Okay, uh, let's talk uh, step by step. First of all, we see um, Beatrice and um, who is that? Uh, Garfield. Uh, they're fighting. Federica also comes. Uh, uh, no, not Federica. Sorry. Uh, after that, we see Subaru. Now, <laughs> now here's the thing. Like Subaru tried to do one thing. That is, I'm not sure what it's actually called. There is a term for the thing that Subaru tried to do. Um, that is, you know, um, scattering um, tiny particulate matter and that kind of sparks an explosion if like uh, it comes into contact with uh, fire i'm not sure what it's actually called but there is something like that it happens but i think like obviously like i also don't know how it's like what actually happens and how like the theory behind it and subaru also did not know that so we just knew that it happened something like that happens but when it happens what are the extra conditions that are needed for it to happen neither did Subaru do nor did I so like just like Subaru I also thought that maybe that will work you know like when he scattered the those things and like the candle was there but unfortunately it did not work but yeah going through the most easiest and the most conventional way just <laughs> like douse the uh, ma beast in oil and set it into fire like that was the most conventional like and easiest method so yeah and uh like otto did it and uh like burn it like light, light lit it on fire and uh also like rosa's mansion also started burning like nothing you can do about it yeah and then we see amelia now here it is like we see amelia in a dark place where like like lots of like stars are twinkling which are coming like like passing her by i'm guessing those are like parallel universes or parallel routes by which the story could have gone now here's one thing i know one thing uh, that the like the author of rezero um i think that he publishes a extra like a different alternative route on subaru's birthday every year and like there are a lot of routes like uh, I think Oboreru and and like the wrath like like uh, wrath lust and all of the like deadly sins is routes like what would have happened if Subaru took a different decision for example I, I I've not seen like I've not like obviously like those are like novels and like I don't read night light novels and also like there's no manga on it I think so like only the information that we can get from it is from like you know YouTube like uh, from where like the people who have like read them uh, different routes they like talk about it I've also not seen that I just know that it exists that's it and I also know one thing that in a few of those routes uh, Subaru turns evil I think two of them or one of them I'm not sure and also in one route uh, Subaru gets his desired harem ending <laughs> that was the last route I think 
like that was i think one of the most like you know happiest root of super way or something and the slot root was i think when like rem told him to run away with her uh like uh in uh, like season one episode 18 like super did it lot you know he decided to run away and that also gets a happy ending i think uh but there are also the other roots as well i'm not sure and those if roots they're called so i think maybe uh like the words that were like you know passing away i think uh, those like words parallel words also existed in those because i heard a lot of you know a lot of uh, people in there uh, i think i heard uh fells there and uh, i the the people i reckon like subaru was all like all like we could hear subaru's voice uh, like i think ram's voice as well a lot of others voice and uh, like one voice that i recognized was um, anastasia the way she talks you know that uh, like dialect that she uses i think i heard one of her, like in one of those roots her voice and i also heard felsa's voice i'm not sure if uh, like priskil Pris, uh, what's her name priskil or priscilla Priscilla's voice was also there. Kid, I did not uh, like concentrate enough, and I'm sure like there were also uh, the other characters' voice as well, like Crucia's voice. We also heard uh, uh, Old Man Rom's voice, and a lot of other voices, you know. So I think those are like the different branching parallel universes, and that uh, like Emilia saw. And one of the I think uh, universe or is it some? If, if, I don't know if that is the current. Uh, parallel world that he, uh, the current world that Amelia is in I'm not sure uh, she saw a vision a vision of her standing bloody and like uh, selling that I hated you from the beginning uh, from the way like from from the day I met you or something I, I don't know something like that she said and she was standing all bloody and everything <clears throat> and I'm not sure if that is this world or it is some other parallel world but I'm sure we'll get the answer later on and um then we get to see rem's silhouette and uh, subaru's silhouette rem says something rem says that i believe praying to ask for a favor is arrogant praying should be for seeking forgiveness mm, yeah anyways uh that and then emilia goes to the which is tea party where usually akidona sits but akidona is not here because she doesn't like Emilia. Minerva comes and greets her, and I'm really not sure, uh, like, what, like, why Minerva was acting like that. Um, like, okay, what did she say here? Uh, okay, like, yeah. Oh, also another thing. Uh, Minerva knows uh, Emilia's mom, and when like Minerva said that I can tell about, uh, tell you about her. Uh, Emilia said that okay that's fine uh, because like my mom is m mother for Juno and I, now I don't know like in this portion after this portion Minerva starts crying she says one thing I guess that evil plots do good things sometimes now I'm guessing the her that he, she's mentioning is Echidona like the way Echidona kind of you know uh like gave all these trials to emilia and everything and like kind of is a evil plot if you can like say it like that you could kind of like describe it as an evil plot but still uh like uh, she said like yeah that was the thing that kind of changed emilia like subaru also helped uh, ekidona in her weird way uh <laughs> it kind of helped the th ekidona and the things that ekidona do those trials kind of helped uh like emilia to become the person that she is now so yeah and i'm not really sure why she was so emotional uh one answer like it one thing it could answer the question that i have is that if minerva knows emilia's like mother fortuna if she knows fortuna maybe is that the reason why she was crying or maybe like like we know that she knew uh, yeah, most probably like she knew Fortuna because obviously like she knew Emilia's mom. So that means she also knew uh, like Fortuna. I think that's why she became so emotional at that moment. And then she hugged Emilia for a bit. And uh, like I think, I think that Minerva also knew Emilia when, you know, uh, she was small or something. I'm not sure. 
but I I don't know like I'm I might be wrong completely but is Minerva somehow related to Archie like their the hair color is same is like is that why she became so emotional I don't know this is just something that came into my mind you know like I'm just saying this because their hair color is similar but like you know the way she uh, kind of emotionally reacted to Emilia and uh, like that would only happen if she knew Emilia personally or something and like she adored Emilia so maybe I don't know but anyways like that, that was it and then she says that go back and shows her the uh, door she comes out and then she meets the uh, origin of the barrier or whatever that was like Ekidona's body was there I'm, I'm thinking like obviously like she said that she's dead so that was her spirit and this is like her body or something and like out of that those like things are coming out uh, I'm guessing that was uh, making up the barrier the whole sanctuary barrier and after she Emilia broke that thing she comes out and she sees that it's like a snowstorm outside I'm not sure what that means I'm sure we'll get the answer later on and in that moment we then go back to the mansion again uh, Frederica and uh, Garfield meets and <clears throat> Elsa and Millie also teams up Millie also teams up they start fight uh, they start you know um, fighting again and then um, we see Elsa like like the fighting was amazing you know like the way they did it every and everything and like Garfield also like mentioned themselves as like obviously like she and Frederick are siblings and that also like he also applied that to uh, Meili and Elsa where Elsa said that yeah we are siblings I'm sure like they're not siblings but kind of like they're like siblings which I was really not expecting because I like the impression that I had of Elsa was like she is extremely cold doesn't care about anything unless like uh, uh, like if she gets the one thing that he she wants but we saw multiple portions in this episode where she tried to go and help May and it seemed as if she was protecting her so like they are more friendlier towards each other than I thought initially thought they would be and it seems as if Elsa really like cares about May okay like you know we are getting all of the human qualities now that she has like in season one and also like in season two part one it seemed as if like she was uh, like you know the like ruthless killing machine or something who doesn't care about anything but turns out yeah like she is also a person with a bad past so that's why she changed and then she told tells us her backstory which Garfield was obviously not interested in hearing but Elsa didn't care and she continued <laughs> and the backstory is quite fascinating you know like in a way like uh, fascinating and kind of dark like she she says that um like uh, the the man who like where is it just a sec um who Elsa killed for her self defense um you know as she was saying that uh, the place where I lived or something that uh, there's like this snow always and it's quite cold and uh, because she was not wearing anything she was shivering at that moment. So then when she killed that person and her his guts came out and it started spilling off and uh, Elsa like you know kind of got into contact with the man that he killed his guts she was shivering at that moment and that warmth of the guts is what gave her the comfort that she needed like it's so messed up you know like just imagine like finding warmth and comfort from a man's guts like it's so twisted and dark but yeah that was Elsa that made her the person that she is now she just says that bloods and innards are so very warm <laughs> and if there is happiness in this world it is the warmth that makes one forget the cold it was the first happiness I ever found that was the reason why like he is so fascinated towards guts and everything like that kind of twisted him in uh, her in a way like her past was already messed up and that man tried to mess it up even more so when she killed that man and found 
the one you know happiness which she never got like it was it's such a minuscule amount of uh, thing that is like warmth in a cold place even that thing she did not get so the warmth of that guts is the one thing that became uh, the thing that you know gave her the hope to keep living in this world in like it's in its own messed up way so yeah that's what made elsa the way she is now and <laughs> like garfield as garfield says that uh, like i already have someone uh, like i cannot like <laughs> you know answer favorably to, towards your confession and uh, elsa says that oh don't you worry my love for you will begin after i kill you <laughs> you know the guts after he kills him so yeah and then we get another amazing fight the fight scenes was amazing you know the way they did it and uh like uh the whole thing with um, what was it uh the uh like uh, rock kind of, kind of falling on mary and like federica helping her out of that situation and that kind of rattled elsa again like this this shows that she really cared about mary and like taking that uh, like opportunity garfield comes and bites her and she also bites garfield now another thing we got to know is that like so she's a vampire so that's why like her um wounds like you know heal or something and another thing i noticed is that we never saw her before in the daytime i'm sure like that's because like she's a vampire or something like she said didn't she like she's a vampire so yeah like thinking about it now all of the time we've seen elsa were at either night or at uh, like you know it's kind of evening or something like the sun was not there so yeah that kind of explains and her like huge regenerative powers those also come from the vampiric powers i'm guessing and then like they kind of bite each other off and like uh, garfield bites her neck i think and um elsa okay so let me just see this portion again like it happened so quickly i was unable to register properly so we see garfield and uh, like elsa like biting each other elsa then pushes off garfield and she like touches her neck and then her mouth like this and then she starts smiling and she looks at garfield again and i'm guessing like she smiles because of the warmth of the blood or something and uh she looks at garfield garfield takes that whole like huge hippo thing and throws it to elsa now like i don't like elsa is so fascinated at this moment she looks at garfield's neck garfield bleeding out and then she remembers something remembers the man that she killed and then she remembers herself looking at her own hand bloody then she touches her face she feels the warmth of the blood and then she says what a thrill and then she gets crushed by that hippo um okay so yeah that was it so i'm guessing elsa died or i'm not sure if she'll come back oh, kind of you know um sad elsa's story like as i like uh, you know like as i've said this before like no one's born evil circumstances make them evil and same thing happened with elsa and then we get to the next bit uh, like okay so uh, the elsa portion was really amazing like the way they like did it like, in a such a dark and twisted manner but yeah that was something and it doesn't stop there next comes like ram a uh, ram and uh, like uh, what's uh, his name um roswell's portion and puck also like fighting with them and then like pucks get pissed off here because like roswell you know as like she was man he was manipulating um uh, emilia and like the the thing that she, he like like put a spell on her or something for her to despair 
and uh, like and so Rosva says that I was already you know uh, like trying to do stuff with Subaru and like he says that unlike you I was not merely testing him to see if he is worthy of my dear daughter uh, like yeah he just wanted Subaru for his own plans you know uh, his own ambition and then one thing that he says uh Rosal says that i think you under, like remembered what happened before the contract i'm i'm thinking he's talking about puck's contract uh okay okay one thing i have to say like you know reason is kind of you know shows us all of these things but it is really difficult to understand because it goes so quickly but in the end after we see more episodes in the future it gradually eventually gets cleared off because you know i remember like i had to see like i saw ReZero season one for like two or three times i think but i still did not understand a few things but now like now looking back at it i think i, I think like i understand each and everything of ReZero season one like the, a lot of like confusion and everything there was in season one it kind of got cleared off eventually I'm sure like the like, like the you know complications that we are facing the things that we are like hearing all of this information will also gradually be cleared out as we go on and then like Puck says that I was rem I remembering I was I was remembering a man who spoke a lot like you now that was Hector uh, from the previous season that like Roswell and uh, Emilia like Akidona fought and I think something happened there you know the way like uh, Roswell talks it's just like Hector yeah, like talked like so something happened must have happened maybe like at that moment Echidona died or something like you know like Echidona was alive at that moment but like we did not see what happened after like there was this like Hector came in I'm sure I, I think so like maybe something happened at that moment and Echidona died or like something happened and something happened to make Roswell like this yeah and Okay, then Puck says, is it so I remember that wound or perhaps a warning? Either way, it's just backward facing. Backward facing, indeed. Yes, of course, I'm forever looking back upon the past. Yeah, he himself knows and acknowledges that he looks at um, like the past. And he says that all that exists now is a phony standing atop a pile of corpses. <laughs> and then like Puck says you're going to make Betty sad Roswell like we knew that like Roswell had uh, like you know ad adored Betty uh, like Beatrice because obviously like, she is Echidona's daughter uh, kind of and uh, they had a you know a, a very playful relationship uh, Betty and um, Roswell so like saying those kind of things in front of Roswell <laughs> Roswell kind of got you know got rattled and like started firing off his own spells and then like Puck and him starts fighting again and here it is like Ram oh no, Roswell says I could not be more disappointed Ram um, where is it I wanted your wish to come true I wanted you to exact justice for your brethren and find happiness. Now, justice for your brethren is revenge against the person who did it, which was Roswell. I think he mentioned something like this in the previous episodes that I, you know, I did it. I think so. Didn't he mention? Yeah. Like the whole, like the ram and ram situation, the horn situation was kind of something that Roswell did. Okay, and Ram gets uh, pissed off here because, yeah, obviously, like she says that after repeating it so many times, after touching upon it so many times, you still haven't realized my true intentions. I only wish I was just a demon, burning with hatred in her wish to avenge her brethren. If only were only out of revenge, my heart would not hurt so. Yeah, she's saying that if I was a demon, really a demon, like I wouldn't have these feelings. And I would have been able to kill you. But that's not the case. And like she's trying to make Roswell realize that. But Roswell is not realizing that. Because obviously for Roswell he thinks that yeah I am the reason behind all of the things that are happening. Like the like Ram's you know misery. 
Ram and Rem's misery, everything, and Emilia's problems. Like he is, you know, involved in all of this because of his own selfish desire, his own, you know, uh, like objective, which I am still not sure what that is, but still. Like uh, him looking at his past always, like looking at the past that he lived with Echidona, like that is the reason why like so many people are unhappy now. He knows that and that's why he is unable to acknowledge the factor that Ram really, you know, is affectionate towards Rosewall, really loves him. Like he is not able to understand that, which I do not blame him for. Because, yeah. But... Just human emotions, you know, like nothing can stop that. As they say, love is blind. <laughs> and and then she says that, yeah, I I love you. And then Roswell says that I am the one you should hate. I am the man you, who caused the destruction of your homeland. Yeah, he says it here. Okay, uh, I know you hated me so much that you wanted to kill me. So Ram also knew it that he was the reason. Because we can see a little bit of the you know past where Ram is like scowling at Rothwar. And Ram also says that yeah, that was true at first, but not now. What's true now is uh yeah, I love you. <sighs> Rothwar says, who would believe in that cheap emotion? Ironically, you're also the one who believes in it because you keep looking back at your past, at your own like cheap emotion that you say. That you felt towards Akidona. Like that's the reason why like like <laughs> you're so crazy. <laughs> like clinging on to that gospel. <sighs> what of your revenge? Didn't you swear on the souls of your brethren to achieve it? I do feel as if I'm wronged my brethren, but I cannot <laughs> yeah, help that I love you. <laughs> and then Puck goes Puck goes to help her and does this whole illusion thing or something, the like the eyes chunks and <laughs> yeah and rosa also starts like you know firing off his own spells and then puck becomes big and uh then we see ram breaking out of that ice crystal she was inside that and went towards roswell he, he got a little bit she got a little bit hurt and snatched that gospel the source of the misery the gospel the thing that is the chain that is binding Roswell to his past that is making all of these happen and then ram throws it into the fire yeah she says that this is the root of all evil and uh, like Roswell gets the f flashbacks of his past the past that is binding him down and after Ram throws it into the fire, <sighs> I don't know what happened and what's going to happen after this. Like she throws it into the fire and I'm sure like Roswell was trying to go and get that. And she must have like, you know, like unleashed, a, what do you call it? A magic spell that Ulgolal, whatever it's called, the fire spell. And the spell comes and hits Rem, and Rem's, Rem gets thrown off. I really hope that nothing happens to her because this is the best, you know, the best route that Shubaru is going through. If something happens to Rem, I don't know. Like he'll have to reset again. I really hope nothing happens. I hope Puck saves him, you know, like Puck is there. I hope, you know, like he at least tries to, you know, shield, shield uh, Rem with some ice chunks or something, something. Like, just do something and like, you know, even if she gets wounded, like, like at least keep her alive. And uh, like after this, I'm sure like Puck will be able to handle Roswell. Like, Ram broke his, you know, emotional stability. After this, I'm, I'm sure like Roswell will give up after the uh, things that happened in this episode. So yeah, that was amazing, you know. This episode is like definitely one of the best episodes of this season. And yeah, it did it so well. And um, 
yeah two things happened the whole elsa situation and uh roswell situation and i don't know like i think like elsa is like uh i don't know what to say about uh, like i feel bad for her in a way but still like yeah like she did some pretty bad stuff but you know circumstances uh circumstances made her go crazy and that's why she like became the person that she is now so yeah I i'm feeling bad for her now at least like after she is i hope she's dead i think she's dead and if like she turns out to be alive after even after this um i don't know what else could garfield do to you know like counter this situation but i think she was probably died like her whole face got crashed and she just died but yeah like sad like sad uh things happened like she she was like a victim of the circumstances so i cannot blame him for that uh blame her for that so yeah the things that she did after that yeah i can blame her for those things but the things that made her do those things like made her the person that she is that's something that no one can blame her for and that's something that is just you know because of bad people in this world and her own bad luck and a uh, victim of like being a victim of bad circumstances so yeah so yeah guys that's it that was this episode like i that was a really amazing episode i loved it and um i'm not sh sure like i think this is the 10th episode yeah 10th episode uh, i'm not sure how many episodes this uh, season has most probably 11 or 12 i'll have to check it out later on if it has 11 episodes that means that next episode is the last one and if it's 12 episodes that means we have two more episodes left so we still have the whole beatrice thing left like Subaru has to talk with Beatrice so and like you know uh, kind of like have a heart to heart talk so I'm sure we'll get that in the next episode so I'm just waiting for that and yeah I hope you know this episode ends on a good note <laughs> no more bad ending happy ending or something <laughs> so yeah that was it that was it guys this was uh, episode number 10 of ReZero season 2 part 2 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um i'll be back uh next week with another episode of ReZero season 2 part 2 and i'll see you guys then so yeah like amazing episode like again i'm saying it and uh like they like were able to pull off two amazing you know character uh like inter like like character like spotlight thing that they did the whole elsa situation and also the whole roswell situation like two of them like usually we get you know one in one episode like in one episode we usually like get fascinated about something like for example episode 18 of season one like the whole rem thing that we saw was so damn amazing it was just one thing that really shined but in this episode two three things shined at the same you know at the same uh, like uh light and that's the whole Elsa uh, like a uh, thing and also the whole Roswell thing so they were able to pull two things off in one episode like that's a job well done so yeah like that was really good so I'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day